currently in El Terrell, in the city of Avern or in the city hovering over Avernus. Currently, you guys have been cutting the chains on there, and you have destroyed five of the nine chains holding El Terrell and slowly pulling it towards the river Styx. Based on the current descent, you think you have about 44 hours before the city enters the river. And you guys have been walking uh, just on the outside of the city wall along that perimeter that is uh, on this uh, outcropping here. And you're about a half hour away from the next uh, chain. You know, currently, the planetar is still hovering over the center of the city, maintaining a shield that appears to be repelling and uh, various beams from entering the city. However, off in the distance, you can see Zeriel's ship getting closer and closer. So, what would you guys like to do? Hell? So we're we're all across the uh, the gap right now, right? Yes, you are all across the gap. And what time is it? You said it is about midday. Midday. And you're about a half hour from the next pillar. You can see it in the haze, and you and you have forty four hours before the city is destroyed. Yeah, I'd say let's go. Uh... Let's go to the next pillar, huh, guys? You said 44 hours? Yes. 44 hours. Um, yeah, can I just use my um, second wind real quick under? Sure. Um, and then I want to get some clarification under the uh, hallow spell. Oh, my God. Okay. 30, foot 30 foot radius against... Uh, protected against undead fiends, all that good stuff. That's 24 hours. Does that mean it lasts? Oh, yeah, till till dispelled. Okay. The casting time is 24 hours. It takes 24 hours to cast the spell. The duration ah. is until dispelled. Ah! That stinks. And I'd have to concentrate on that one? While casting it, yes. Fuck. All right. Okay, well, I'd say let's head to the next chain, huh, guys? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um. I, we have to be on an official short rest to hit dice, right? Yeah, you need to actually, like, rest. Okay, cool. Um. Are we, we're not... Since we the could. last battle, we haven't taken a short rest, right? I don't believe so. Are you guys cool with taking a short rest so I can get my stuff back? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. think we should. Yeah. Like, you we, we, yeah, you guys want to do it like halfway in between instead of going all the way there first? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Take a short rest, please, under. <clears throat> Clear. Sure, we can find some nook or cranny to in the wall. Clear, you're walking mm -hmm. forward like 15 minutes and then taking a short rest. Yeah. A firm. Okay. So yeah, you guys walk along this uh, rocky outcrop. 15 more minutes. The air is starting to get a little hazier. The smell of sulfur a bit more pungent. But you don't encounter anything. And you're able to. You know, it's not really, like, well in cover, but there's, you know, a little divot next to the wall that you guys are able to kind of take a rest in. And for that hour, right. it's, you know, stinks of sulfur, but you are unmolested. And you have, and you successfully take a short rest. You, I'm Continue. Continue. Brutal. Fucking ouch. But it's something. Okay, well, carry on. 
One second. I'm still going to use more. I knew I needed three for sure, but that was a really low roll. I'm just actually doing my math right now. Under, when we get in sight of, can I hit a divine sense when we get 120 feet from the, what's it called, chain, pillar? Sure. Sure. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely using more. So, you know, you... Yeah, go ahead. I just rolled. I'll just keep narrating. So yeah, you guys keep walking towards there. And there isn't you know, any issue. And you guys eventually, out of out of the uh, fog that seems to be developing on the side of the city, rather sulfurous fog, you see the black iron pillar that holds the chain. Except at the top of this pillar, you see only the broken link of a chain. And no chain in sight. Perfect. On to the next, huh, boys? Wait, does it look yep. like it's obviously been released? Does it look disconnected? Like it's it's yeah. successfully uh, removed from the uh, ground? Well, does the street sight see anything different? Yeah, that. Does it appear illusory to Steve? I mean, I sent Steve a PM. I don't know if he reads them. Oh. Ah. Yeah, guys, there's there's definitely something there. We should not avoid this. Not a or avoid. No, we should not avoid this. We should totally. You see, um. Can true Someone sight. Would true sight. sight tell me like it? It's like spell. Like, is there a spell over of not being able to see it, or or, or what? Nope. It would not tell you anything like that. It simply <laughs> reveals its true nature. All right. Well, then, uh, cast fairy fire on the chain. Okay. The chain is unable to resist, and you guys see a. I don't know what color do you make it glow, Steve? Uh, we're gonna do blue. All right, a blue glow outlining chain links running from this uh, top of this pillar off to the side, like you would expect. Okay, there you go. Tee off on it, gentlemen. <clears throat> go. So somebody turned on the active camouflage. Ah, very good. How far away are we? 120 feet. You can do your divine sense if you'd like. Yes, do that. Okay. Divine sense. Uh, How many people can cast Eldritch Blast? It's only 60 feet, but I figured... Bleh, I, have Elder, I have Eldritch Blast. Well, well. O- other than uh, Eris is familiar, there are no fiends in range. Okay. I say let's just walk up and start blasting. Yeah. That's why I was asking how many people have Eldritch Blast or anything that we can range with for cantrips. Mine's 30 feet. If you guys want to, I have Eldritch Blast. I'll, if you guys want to just do an Eldritch Blast from here, I'm cool with that. Yep, I'll fire. Yeah, I'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anybody else have Eldritch Blast or anything that can range out that far? Um, I got Witch Bolt, Magic Missile. What's the range oh, that's on those? The, uh, LOL. 120 feet for Magic yeah, Missile and I throw that under. Uh, oh, are those we... spells? Yeah, there's spells. I was gonna say, yeah, it, I'm, I'm looking at just cantrips. Oh well, you're an Eldritch Knight. Don't you have Eldritch Blast? That doesn't exclusively mean it. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if Eldritch Knight has that in their cantrips, oh, if he just didn't take it. Apparently. Steve, you oh, suck. No. There you go. Oh, you <laughs> sorry. Anyway, so yeah, it looks like Steve and I are going to blast off uh, a pair of Eldritch Blasts each. Alright, well, st- all right, well, Steve, uh, one of those hit. Do 
Doesn't he have those at, at advantage because it's fairy fired? Yes. So Steve should probably roll that again. Ah. I am bat finger in the keyboard tonight, gentlemen. I missed it. You did miss it. And Eris hit once as well. All right. I I think I'm going to go up into melee and try to hit it. Okay. Yep. Yep, and then I'm as well. I'm gonna... Oops, that should be just the seven. Sorry, I just rolled two out of habit. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Steven there, so you guys hit it. Your Eldritch Blasts, you know, ring out when they hit the uh, the chain, but do not seem to really cause any real damage. All right, well, then... Yeah, we're... I just wanted to see if there was any sort of trigger when it gets attacked if something happens. Other than the normal what we've experienced so far. Uh, I'm going to ask the party real quick. Uh, they, guys, do you have, like, a... Uh in the bag of holding or something like a magic infused weapon or something because all I have is still a normal fucking sh sword. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. We, we dippied it all out. Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah. Then I'm just going to be taking hits here for my health. All right, cool. Just cover us while we hit the chain. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Go on the defense. All right, I think I think it's safe to say we can get in a little bit closer for all Careful. of our uh, allies that can't hit that far. I just like I said, I literally just wanted to hit it with some spells just to yeah. see what happened if it triggered some, you know, crystal explosion or some shit. Bobby, do we get a bonus with around you for attacks? Only on saves. Only on saves. Alright, I'm gonna go attack it with my Kapinga twice. Well, yeah, how about you wait so we can all attack? Gonna, we're gonna move up to it as a group first. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. But I'm just getting out saying it. I figured we we'd establish we're moving towards it. So I was saying as a top. Okay, sure. Yeah, you guys can move up to it. Nothing seems to happen when you approach. Okay. Okay. Now I will attack. Yep. You guys are all attacking, right? Yep. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay. That is a crit. And a normal. Hit. And a normal. Hit. Yep. Steve hits. Oh wait, is it an advantage? Uh. Advantage. Yes. yes. Oops. I think it's Rice, that's two Oops. hits. Mine's all radiant damage, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, so close. Again. Yeah. Eris, you hit twice. Uh. Well, I was supposed to do... I was supposed to do that. So I was supposed to do 22. I forgot to add my modifier. Okay. Or am I... Yeah. Alright, yeah, you, nice you guys start hacking into it. Get about a third of the way through it. That yeah. sh warbling, shrieking alarm begins sounding from it. Naturally. And you guys are attacking again? Yep. Correct. Yep. Fire. Two hits. Oh, fuck. I have to roll at advantage. Two um, hits for you, Royce. Errors, that's two hits. One's a crit. Yep. Ah, Royce, three hits. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm so uh, bad I did the at... same shit. I did the same shit, don't worry. So bad at typing tonight. Well, we're so used to doing the repeat roll without everybody having advantage. So. so, Steve, you did that wrong. Do it again. You need to roll two iterations of 2d20, keep higher one. Yeah, so this time, just roll the exact same thing again because you just rolled the first iteration. So just, just copy-paste that, that yep, roll. Yep, I am. And I'd missed anyway. You missed anyway. Yeah, but yeah, you went two space two D twenty. Alright, yeah, you guys get another chunk out of it. The alarm continues to wail. 
<laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. Next uh, bashing. I'm, wor I'm bashing. worried this is going too easy, but. Well, let's focus fire on the chain. That way, if something shows up, we can all work on it together. Yeah. Um, all right, rolling again. Rolling again. All right. yep. One hit for you, Joe Dan. Th uh, all of those hit for you, Royce. One's a crit. One hit errors. One hit, Steve. All right, and with that massive set of attacks, you sever the chain, and it goes careening over the side of the city. The warbling stops. All right, run. Um, can run, I pop run. a divine sense real fast before we start running? Yeah. Yeah. Anything? Uh, you don't uh, think anything, don't except, anything except there is familiar. familiar. Perfect. All right, let's roll, boys. Could we take one more short rest, please? Oh, my God. Well, yeah. No, let's move first. Yeah. Yeah, just meant... yeah, yeah we we're, we just want to move out of the area. We want uh, double time out of here. All right, you guys start moving. So it's about another hour or so to the next uh, pillar. Can we go about 45 Three, minutes and then do uh, Royce's yeah. short rest? Sure. Perfect. The sulfur fog, more of a smog, really. You know, it gets a little bit thicker. But 45 minutes pass and you do not encounter any enemies. All right, short rest time. Find a little nook to tuck into. Okay. Yeah, there's a small crevasse you're able to kind of prop yourselves up in, get a little bit of cover. The hour and the smog passes. You guys successfully complete a short rest. Sweet. All right, let's go knock this, this last one out, huh, guys? Is this the last one that we're at? Oh, we that we're coming up more. on? Oh, no, we have two more, right? Three more. This is number three seven more? you were coming up on. Seven so of eight? Three. three total remaining. Oh. Seven of nine. Yeah, there's nine. Seven <laughs> piece of eight. <laughs> that was good, Rice. Fuck. And everyone missed it. <laughs> anyway. Under, I know you got it. <laughs> oh, I definitely got that, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> A good Star Trek reference, always. Mm -hmm. Even oh, if it is Voyager. Okay. So, so, yeah, some time passes. The fog gets a little thicker as you get closer. And out of the fog, you you find the next pillar and chain with a bunch of rather voluptuous figures standing there. I want to fuck them. Are you sure? Because I mean that no. in the sense that they have volume. Oh, that's hot. Volume. Oh, that's funky. <laughs> that's hot. Yeah. Hot. Yeah, they just seem to be yeah. kind of standing around. How many are there? There are 20 of them. Uh, how far Rang out are we? Rangers, huh? You are like 60 feet from the closest one. <coughs> uh, second closest one? 70 feet. Okay, how, how, how far away is the farthest one, if we can figure that out? 100, uh, nope. Uh, these are 60 to there. They're in the 60 foot radius. It'd be 180 feet. Okay. They're just kind of spread out, kind of filling like a 60 foot radius area around this pillar. All right. Well, they're not going to like us, and they're too dumb to probably have a conversation. So, two Eldritch Blasts, one at one, one at the other. Yep. And I'm going to throw two Joblins as well on top of that. Okay. So, I think at this point, you guys should roll initiative. First roll. 
Oh my god. Ouch is the point of being a monk. If a bitch ass cleric is gonna do better than me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry guys, I'm just getting hey, don't over worry. Bron Keep get I'm just getting over bronchitis. The Paladin did worse than you. The Paladin. Get it right. I know what I said. Alright, Eris. Uh, let me look at my spells to see what I can range out. There was 60 feet and 180. Okay. Wait, would we have advantage on these attacks? Why would you have advantage on these attacks? Because they're surprised. They're coming out of nowhere, dude. They're just there's. Did, just did we sneak up? Them. You were not was... particularly stealthy, and while they don't seem to be paying you particular attention, you don't really think like you guys are on flat ground these guys are on flat ground like if they if they cared to look they would see you easily okay cool yeah we've been noticed um okay okay how many can i get in a 10 foot radius if i moved up i get 60 feet of range so i can move you know my 30 uh, let's see, there are 20 of them. They are spaced like that. You could probably get, uh, three of them in a 10-foot radius. Okay, how close would I have to get to do that at 60 feet of range? Do I need to move much need closer to move than 50 feet. feet? Okay. All right, then I will do that, but I would like to go more towards the wall and more away from the cliff with that movement. Sure, you can do that. And, um... Then I'm going to cast Shatter. Okay. You cast your spell, targeting that point. There is no apparent effect, and the spell slot is lost. Interesting. All right, well, I will move my other 10 feet towards the wall some more. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I take that back. Um, I rearranged my movement, so I'm moving towards them. I forgot I'm not that kind of rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for cover, and I don't need cover. I go into combat with this rogue. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... um. So, yeah, I want to move towards them, but I'm only going to move my 30, and then... That will be it. Okay. Broke. Um, first, I'm gonna just look at S Steve and go, Steve. Do you see anything different about these guys? Let's stop my turn. Illusionary? You can talk. Just hey, oh, keep it short. I don't know. Well, yeah, can I? True sight. Ah, true sight. See, so when you're looking at these guys with true sight, um, there is a transparent red dome that was that became visible when Eris cast his spell it seems to cover like a 60 foot radius around the chain where this uh, guy is standing in okay so big red dome shield uh tell the party obviously is there a point of origination or is there something that it specifically it, it does around? look like it's centered on the chain Now, is the chain inside of that orb as well? Yes. Okay. Um, you probably need to dispel magic. Uh, so I'm just going to then just do uh, throw on uh, protection from good eagle on myself, and then I'm just end my turn. Okay. Steve? Um... Let's see. I guess uh, dispel magic on the uh, chain. On the chain? Oh, uh, well, on the dome. Okay. Yeah, you can try casting dispel magic on the ch on this uh, dome. 
Uh, you will need to make a spell cat your spellcasting ability check. It is higher than third level. Can I guidance on that one? No, I guidance can't. is an action. Action, you're right. Uh... Oh, that's fucking shit, man. The dome remains. Um. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna just. Here's what I want to do. I want to. I want to fly up, like uh, twenty five feet, and then I want to fly to right outside the other dome, like right outside of the other, the right to the other side of the dome, and just like float How much there. How human speed do you have? A ninety. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do that. That's easy. Well, the other side of the dome's. You know, like the edge of the dome, the close edge of the dome is 60 feet from you. The dome is 120 feet across. Yeah. So you can fly in that direction, but um, you use your action to cast Dispel Magic, so you can't dash. So you can just get, like, partially around it. You're not even halfway there. Cool. All right. Uh, Royce. Um, all right, how far away, how far away from my, am I, let's try speaking, <clears throat> how far away am I from the dome? 60 feet is if, uh, what Steve told you was accurate, which is okay. also when you start seeing these monsters that are just standing there. Okay. Uh, I'll use 40 feet of movement, uh, to get, I guess, closer to the dome. Okay. And then, and I, uh. I use one of my attack to fire at one of these creatures and see if... Can I can I see the dome, or is it just Steven telling me that the dome is there? It is just Steve telling you the dome is there. You do not see the dome. Okay, can I... I believe him, but can I try to just fire one of my radiant some bolts at this thing? Or at one of the creatures to see if, if I can hit them or if the dome's going to stop it? Yeah. So you take a shot with your beam at it. And your beam, when it hits the edge of where you think this dome is, flashes from a like a like a ball of energy that you threw to almost like a laser beam that strikes this guy. And you should roll damage. Okay. Is radiant damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like that guy is, is bloodied from that. Uh, okay. And you also I'll notice that, that as he staggers a bit from this blast, he is moving with a unnatural speed to the point where he's all, his movements are almost a blur, even to your eyes. Oh, like super fast? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I get it. Do I need to make it like an insight? I mean, I think I know what it is, but can I? Do I need to make an insight check to figure it out? Or if you think you know what it is, you can just tell people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is like a speed dome, or like a time bubble, and that things inside of the dome are happening much quicker than things on the outside of the dome. I don't necessarily know what to do with that information, but I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I think is going on. Uh. And then to test that theory, well, yeah, so I'll use my bonus action to dash since I've already used one of, uh, you know, I'm going to finish using my action to send uh, two more sunbeam bolts at that same guy. Okay, so you're finishing off your attack action to send more sunbeam bolts. Yeah. Okay, roll to hit. Those both hit. Again, it is a cross threshold of the uh, dome. There's like a flash like a laser beam as they go even faster. All right. Um. <clears throat> the creature explodes. Okay. Then I will use for my bonus action, I'll spend a key point to dash. 
Okay. So I'll use 20 feet of that movement to get up to the bubble. Uh-huh. And then can I, like, reach... Uh, I don't... I'm, oh, fuck it. Can I just reach my hand out and touch the bubble or, like, put my hand through it? See what happens? Just your hand. Just my hand. But I, I want to wiggle my fingers while fingers are inside of the bubble. Okay. You stick your hand into this bubble. And, and you immediately, be, it begins to feel cold, almost bitingly cold. You wiggle okay. your fingers and they're just a blur inside there. Okay. As your hand yeah. goes numb. Oh. You notice your entire hand is starting to turn right. blue. Then I'll pull my hand out and use the rest of my 20 feet of movement to... to I'll just use 10 more move, feet of movement to, to move 10 feet back. Okay, yeah, you back up. Your hand still stinging like it fell asleep for hours. Okay. Uh, you're pretty sure it was just fucking with the blood flow. Okay, cool. Like if you decide uh, to tourniquet around your hand for like an hour. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, that'll, that's it. That's... Okay. These guys. They begin moving around and reposition themselves almost blur as almost blurs inside the dome. Changing their position so as to, you notice, Steve, you would especially notice this flying up high, that they are maintaining themselves to be like, uh, equally spaced out around this uh, pillar. Steve, you would, they would then stand stock still like statues. And Steve, you would notice that the color of this dome shifts from red to blue. Jodan? Um, so I'd like to cast a spell magic on this dome that I keep hearing about. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Make your spell casting check. Oh, oh. oh. That'd have been cool, but no, that's not right. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. And that is not the correct roll. <laughs> He's real, yeah. What what it's uh you're a paladin, right? Yeah. What's your charisma? It is oh, so does he have a plus seven to his wisdom right now with the sword? Is that what that is? Dispel magic is just a spellcasting ability check. You do not add proficiency to it. Okay, then it's just a plus four, so that's a 15. All right. Well, you don't notice any difference. Uh, Steve, that didn't have any effect on the dome. Ah, uh, see. Fuck! That was a waste of a third level spell slot. Um, how far away from the dome am I? 60 feet. I'll move my 30 towards it, I guess. Okay. Uh, that should do her. Okay. Eris? Um, I'm just going to do Eldritch Blast from my 30 feet. I'm not going to reposition at all. Okay. Just targeting the closest one? Uh, yep. All right, rolled it. Oops. All right, well, one of them kind of goes wide and digs into the ground before it hit, even gets to the dome. The second looks to be on target, right up until it hits the dome. And the spell stops in midair and sits there. So, did Steve relay to us that it's blue now and that it was red before? I, I would have, yes. So red means fast, blue means slow. Love, yeah. Because I'm guessing my spell is just hanging out. Wait, so technically could we just like throw a bunch of spells into this orb, have it stop, and then as soon as it turns red again, just absolutely... My guess is it's going to happen on their action. I don't think it's just going to stay blue until oh, we all fire you know off my turn. Could be. I think it might be on their action. This. 
this could be like a Doctor Who thing. It, it is. It, well, it's not even a Doctor Who thing. It's a time distortion. It's just a bubble where time changes inside of the bubble oh, at a different rate than time the, outside of the bubble. You ever see the Doctor yes. Who episode where the statues move and when you look at them, they don't move and when you don't look at them, they move? Kind of bullshit. Something similar. Like the statues are moving. Oh, I thought you said Doctor Strange, not Doctor Who. Yeah, um, yeah, and go. yes, the, the, the weeping statues that you're talking about. Yes. Um, no. That is not... This is a time distortion. So the bubble, everything inside of the bubble is happening in its own time state. Right now, everything outside the bubble is also happening in its own time state. Those times are different from each other. Everything right now in the bubble is going very, very slowly. So as you can see from where you're up in the air, my my Eldritch Bolt is just hovering there. Like it's stopped. It's not stopped. It's moving very, very slowly. Yeah. So, gotcha. but we could, that means we could also go into the. Now it's probably not. Yes, if we go into too. the bubble, we we're enter that that time we're state. Just in that time state. Right? But that was a bad idea since Homie stuck his hand in there, so it's going to be. No, ranged. he stuck his hand through a time dilation field. Right. If you if so you entered your entire body, you would be in that st- that time state. If you put your entire body inside of the sphere, it's not a barrier. It's it's a containment. Like it's a it's a range, a radius. You can walk right into it. like Steve. You could fly down into it right now, but you would just be moving extremely slow to us. Relativity. Yeah, you so would be as far as you can tell. His hand went fast. numb is because he was having cellular re- yes. respiration inside his hand so rapidly, while his body couldn't keep up with it. That's why it felt like his hand was numb. Uh, I see. That's... Right. Yeah, so and if you fully enter it, you'd be fine. Science, dude. Fuck yeah. Yes. So, yep. Yeah, if you full, if we all fully enter it, we'll be fine. However, time is going to change back and forth. I'm, ass- I'm making an assumption here by saying it's going to happen on DM's turn. But that was only because one of them died and they repositioned. So it may only be when one of them dies as well. That could be the, the status. Okay. They also don't have all so we have to find out. But either way, I think we're going to have to enter on blue, but it's probably going to switch back to red. But we won't know if we're inside. Right. Cool. Sounds so good. So is there anything else you do on your turn, Eris? Um, I will move my 30 feet closer. Okay. So right on the edge of the uh, radius, pretty much. Yeah, like you're right at the edge of that bubble. Broke. And then, yeah, that's it. I, I can't do any bonus actions because it's a spells for me. Uh, oh, wait, no. I, that was an Eldritch Blast. That was so I could bonus action. Um, oh, sorry. But, so what do you yeah. do, Harris? I will hang on to my... I will not do anything. So, oh, okay. go ahead. Sorry. Broke. I was thinking about uh, it. I'm also going to move up, up to the dome, or just on the outside where they are, or like 30 feet up with uh, Aris. Okay, sure. And then um, I'm just going to throw in three magic missiles facing one at one of the guys. Okay. Are you targeting the same one that Eris targeted? Uh, that is the closest Ares, one to you. As, did Eris hit him? Uh, his or, spell yeah. is still in flight. It's okay. It's glowing at the edge of the dome. Uh, I would. Yeah, I was thinking. I was gonna. I was gonna throw one on York. They don't have a whole lot of health. I was gonna throw one and do two to another one. Because they die very quickly. If I can knock out. We we can knock at least two of them before we enter and be pretty good, and see what happens. You take up more than one. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of those bolts onto the one that Eris is aiming at, and then two on a one closest next closest to it. Okay, you can do that. You're don't bother rolling damage yet. You're you fire off your spell. As the magical darts hit the barrier, they seem to freeze in place, hovering there. And then I should be right up with Eris on this dome. Cool. And that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Steve. Uh, Is there any part of the chain that is outside of this dome? I mean, if you were to go off the edge of the city, yeah. You would imagine that part of it would eventually go down far enough to leave the dome. Okay, I don't want to do that. But that would, be, uh, that would also be outside the shield of the planetar. Yeah. How far is the rest of my party? Uh, let's see. You win ninety. They moved up sixty. They're like thirty feet behind you. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to go right up to the actual... I could guess I could probably make it to the dome. You're already right at now. the dome. You flew up and went to, like, starting to fly around the dome. So you're, uh, you, yeah. are currently par you are currently at the dome, just, like, 25 feet in the air. Okay. Um, and I can see this, and there's people inside. They're acknowledging that I'm there. How much... They do not seem to be acknowledging you. They are standing stock still, like statues. <clears throat> At least from your perspective. At least from my perspective. Uh, top of the dome. Can I go up there? Yes. You can go to the All top right. of the dome. All right. So I just want to drop in like an angel at the top of the dome. All right. You drop into the dome. And you guys see Steve drop into the dome and freeze in place. In the air or on the ground? In the air. Like, he flew up and then he, like, tr dove down into the dome. And as he crossed that threshold, he seemed as if to freeze in place. Did I actually freeze in place? No, but from their perspective, you have. Ah. And since we exist in a single time frame, uh... That will basically end your turn. Okay. It is the party is otherwise party. outside the dome. The perspective will not shift. So, Royce, it is your turn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm... I'm gonna... How far is the chain from the edge of the dome? 60 feet. Like, that's the origin point of the chain. Oh, okay. At the, the like the pillar that holds the chain is at the center of this dome. Okay. Then Then yeah, I'm gonna cuz it looks that all the all the other stuff that has gone in there right now is like frozen, right? Apparently so. I'm the spells have frozen in flight. I'm gonna... I'm gonna run in. Okay. So you run into the dome. As you cross the threshold, the rest of the party sees you seemingly freeze in place. Jodan, what yeah. do you do? That is the end of your turn. So I'm 30 feet away, right? Yes. From the... yes. Okay. I only have 30 feet of movement. The edge. I'm sorry. Say I'm again. sorry. Say again. You... I have 30 feet of movement. Would that get me inside the dome or would it just get me to the edge? It would get you just inside the dome. Yeah, I want to go inside the dome. All right. You follow Royce in. Eris? Steve, Royce, and Jodan have entered the dome and seemingly have frozen in place. Yeah, I'm uh, debating what we have typed up in the chat. It depends on the condition. Wait a minute. This is your turn. We what do you do? Yep, the DM turn. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm just going to start firing Eldritch Blast at all of these guys. Or the chain. What do you guys think? Before you went in, you would have given me an oh. idea of... Bane. If I stay out here and Bane. just spam Eldritch Blast Bane. the chain, Bane. 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 just keep doing chain. It. All right. So yeah, so I'm just gonna spam the chain with Eldritch Blasts, basically like stacking up all of the bullets on the edge of the okay. time sphere. Sure. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit. Um, yeah. Obviously, Brock's still out here, so he still gets to go. It's broke. <laughs> Broke. Brock. I broke Brock. I, I don't okay, have the, I don't have the, so 2d20 uh, plus 9. Okay. Uh, just, I'm just going to write these down. So, uh, yeah, your bullet, your Eldritch Blast hit the edge of the dome and freeze in place, along with your other okay. ones. All right, and that'll be it for my turn, so then it'll be um, Broke's right. turn. Broke. Uh, I'm going into the dome. All right, you step into the dome and seemingly freeze in place. I believe everyone but Eris has entered. Except me. Yep. So, Eris, it is your turn. Your entire party is um, inside this dome, apparently. 
I'm just gonna do you do you want me to do like a whole bunch? Yes. Sure. You want me to do more than two with the repeat roll? How many do you want? Like, oh, how long do you stand there shooting at shooting? Because uh, oh, keep stacking yeah, up. Yeah, time is. Um, hundred. Do a hundred. Hundred? No. Um, let me think here for a second. So. Fifty. I'll do ten at a time for thirty rounds. Uh, so. So, so that uh, would be fifteen a rounds. Ten of them would be a minute. Yeah. Fifteen rounds. So okay. a total of 30. Sure. You want me to just roll all 30 in one go? Go ahead. They they will end up just stacking up on this dome. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A lot of... some hits in there. Uh, there's actually a not a lot. Uh, two crits. Two crits, but the there's not crits, a lot of hits. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only ten normal hits from the looks of it. Okay, and I'd be able to kind of deduce that from my initial, like firing off then i would probably shoot some more because i want all of this to be enough to one shot it yeah you think you might need a bit more uh behind okay. it to, uh, maybe another um another does bangbot bang have the uh, greater than rule so i can make this easier for you by just it doing the does um, um okay you wanted so just do a 30 d20 greater than 10 one so okay. not bang rr just bang r 30 d20 yep. greater than 10 then... Or, sorry, stop. Greater than 9, because you, you'll hit on a 10. Okay, greater than 9. Um, So just to double check, the greater than sign means the big side is towards the d20, because I always fuck that up in my head. <laughs> so like that. Yes. No. no space between 30 and d. You're rolling 30 d20s, ah. you want it to report how ah, many okay. are larger yeah. than 9. Uh, no, that would be less than 9. That No, what he rolled is greater than 9. That is a greater yep. than symbol. What? That can't be right. There's it, four it, more quits. That is, uh, apparently Bangbot does not have that function. Huh. Okay, well we can go off that roll still. Because there's quite a few crits in there. Yeah, I'd so like to keep three those. Crits. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so three crits and then... Four crits. Four crits, yeah. Shit, I missed that one at the end. Uh, but normal You're right. crits is one. Pretty so. Oh wait, no, that's right. This is a well, that's just nine. a nine. Right. Yep. Uh, nope, nope. There's so a lot three, in there actually. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen regular hits. Yeah, you you think you've stacked up quite a bit of damage aiming at that chain. Okay, then I think I will enter the bubble because if it's not enough, okay. we can just go over there and whack it once. So you enter the bubble. It all that happens. Outside, <laughs> yeah, hold on. The outside of this, like the cityscape of Avernus, takes on a bluish tinge. Y'all were dumb. Just realized. As your eldritch blasts all of flying forward, and they hit. Go ahead and roll, uh, for twenty-five regular hits and six critical hits. My brain just fucking stopped. Thirty-seven of your your hit die of your damage dice. Thirty-seven d10. I thought so glad we don't use normal dice. I think the chain is destroyed. The chain. Yeah, you guys see the elders blast fly out and take a huge, massive chunk out of this chain. It is still there, but barely. But barely. Uh, you you think uh. It only needs like you know twenty to thirty more hit points of damage to actually destroy it. You're, you're 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 now, uh, the other elders roll um another two d ten, Eris. Because you had those other two first eldritch blasts, which are going to hit one of the flesh guys. All right, as the flesh guy explodes, and uh, who fired off those magic missiles? I did. All right, bro. Go ahead and roll for the uh, two you sent at the other one, because what your first target no longer exists. Because <laughs> cool. uh, you're from your guys' perspective, like you guys enter the dome, and then all this shit just comes flashing in here, and 
blowing shit up around you as the cityscape turns blue. So that's a 2d4 plus 2? Uh, yes. Yes. So we need at least 38 Eldritch Blasts to take down a chain. Okay, got it. Okay. All right. Know. Yeah, as that guy explodes. Cool. All right, Eris, it is still your turn. You have entered the dome. What do you do? Um, technically, I'll say that one of my Eldritch... Or no, would I have done that That action? was after your action. You fired off your actions, and then you stepped into the dome. Okay, then then I don't have anything I can do with a bonus action. Okay. Broke. You're inside the dome. The okay. city and Avernus have all turned with a, a bluish tinge. Like sure. it's one of those... Uh, filters applied in a Hollywood movie. Okay, uh, so I'm going to take this round to prepare some of uh, some things, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I don't know if I want to use the chain's almost dead. I don't know if the monsters... Five! Four! Fuck off. So what do you do? Um, I'm going to go ahead and just... How many can I get in one small area of, of ten feet? Ten foot radius or diameter? Radius. Uh, you could get two. Okay, let's go ahead and then cast a shadow right over top of it. Uh, okay. Uh, that can is I, a uh, con save. Ask, actually, can I ask the party? Can I use a shadow on the chain, or is that not going to work? I was going to hit the chain. Just kill oh, things. I'll just kill things. Okay. Yep. It's con right. save. Con save. I believe they both failed. They do. So go ahead and roll that thunder damage. Eight. I can't remember the roll. I haven't, we haven't, I haven't played in a while. 3d8. And then do I add my intelligence modifier? Uh, only if the spell tells you to. I don't think Shatter does normally. No, it does not. Okay. Great. Well, awesome. those two are badly bl bloodied, but they are still alive. Yay. Um, That's a shit roll. That was a shit roll. And I can't do bonus spells. Can't do that. Yep. I am not doing anything. I am done. All right, Steve. <laughs> you've entered the dome as your compatriots kind of flash to the edge of the dome from your perspective, entering and doing their things. Eldritch Blast blasting away at the chain. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to fly down to where the Eldritch Blast hit, where it's weak, mm -hmm. and then um, beat it with my sword. Okay, you fly down. Roll to hit. You are ineffective. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, Don't all right. that. uh, then throw a spiritual weapon at one of them. The closest one to me. Sure. You can do that. Steve, you do you only get one attack per action? Yeah. Clerks suck. That hits. <laughs> but I got like a mess ton of spells, my dude, so that's pretty cool. So go ahead and roll damage for that spell, uh, Elder. Yeah, I'm weapon. sorry. I'm just looking. I was remembering what the damage was. All right, yeah, your your sword cuts down one of these guys. Uh, if I fly back up, attack of opportunity. You are not in melee with anybody. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna fly back up then. Okay. Uh, are you leaving the dome? No, no. I'm just gonna go back to where I was when I first entered, just kind of hovering at the top. Sure, you can do that. Cool. Thanks. Royce. Um, I'm just gonna take a second to tell the group we're fucking idiots. We're on a time crunch and we're stuck in time right now. But uh, can I get as I don't know? Are there any? Is there anybody between me and the chain? Uh, there are six monsters between you and the chain currently. There are sixteen total in the area, but six would be like you'd be running past six of them. Uh, I'll run past six. Give a fuck. Okay. My sh my sword's in defense mode, so I have a 22 AC right now. 
All right. Well, uh, these six will uh, try to uh, bite like, is it with all three of their mouths as you run past them. Uh, so one, one hit. One hit. All right. So you take eight points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a charisma save. How far from me is he right now? Uh, this is uh, an this attack, is an attack from, from him running. He's like, uh, this would be about 10, 15 feet from you. Ah, never mind then. Sorry, I'm trying to find out what my charisma save is. Uh, one. Tight. Brutal. Your character ages eight years. Eh. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so how far, how close am I to the chains now? Uh, which movement speed is 30, right? 40, 40. I get. Oh, okay. 40. Uh, so that would put you, if you're 40, that would put you 20 feet away. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure these things are destroyed. I'm gonna, uh, action surge so I can use six some bolt attacks. Okay. What are you targeting with it? Chain. Okay. Roll your attacks. Can I re-roll that one? Yes. All right, so that is uh, three, four, five. five hits. All right, yeah, you blast through the last bit of metal holding this chain together as it whips over to the side of this dome. And as it leaves the dome, it turns into a blur. And all you see left is this furrow in the ground where it once was. How's the? Can I just see if I can get a gauge on what time it seems like it is, how much time has passed on the outside? Make an insight check. I'm really worried we lost a lot of time. Uh, inside. Oh, fucking finally something I'm okay at. 's wisdom in your monk All right, well, based on the change in brightness you've been observing you think that somewhere between six and ten hours has passed outside the dome the dome okay okay that's doable um all right cool I'll that's the that's my turn. okay Let's see these guys. All right, well, two of them are going to waddle their way up to Eris. And they're going to try and bite him. I guess. I'll allow it. One hit. Eris is in 10 right? Yeah. Yes. Eris, you get the plus four. I'd make me 19. To armor class? No, 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 no. To uh, his save, his charisma save that he has to do after this. Yep. So oh, he takes seven okay. points of piercing damage, and I need a charisma save. He said it's plus four? Plus four to your save. All right. You do not age. Oh, I would have preferred aging. I'm only 25. <laughs> 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 All right, broke. Two of these guys waddle up to you. And try to okay. Okay. Um, can I do uh, protect? Are they they're five feet, and that means they get disadvantage on one of their attacks. Yeah. Five feet. Okay. Yep. So that Which guy misses, and then the second one gets a fourteen. Uh, that also misses. All right, so they miss you. Sweet. Steve is flying. Royce, you ran up to this chain. Three of them are able to waddle up to you.
think they all miss. Badly. All right. And Joe. No, no one wants a piece of the the paladin. No, two no, of the wait. waddle up to you. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, roll badly. Yeah. You guys um, notice that the outside cityscape turns a bright, vivid red. And Jodan, it is your turn. Oh, the dome is still up? The time dome is, yes. Oops, um, I, I was muted. Uh, I shot a shot to the party. Hey! Uh, chain's gone, let's just leave the dome, and then I'm gonna exit the dome. Alright, you guys see Jodan run out to the dome and freeze in place when he leaves. Errors? Oh, sorry, Jodan, All I right. forgot. They do get a task opportunity against you. Bring it! Yeah, they hit. So I so I need to make two charisma saving throws as you take twelve piercing damage. Two charismas. Yes. Don, I wish I was better at charisma. You're about to be old as fuck, bro. I'm hoping that was a joke. It was. I'm. You're a fucking paladin. Yeah. 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 You're fine. That's my charisma save. All right, Eris. Jodan has left the dome and frozen in place just outside. I am not going to leave the dome. I'm going to start popping Eldritch Blasts off at the nearest targets. And, um... Which are the two? Well, oh, actually, no. Not the nearest targets, then. I'm actually going to um, use my uh, Shadow Blade bonus action and uh, start attacking. Okay. You can cast Shadow Blade. It's a bonus action, and then you can attack. Yep. Um, is it dark or dim light? No, it is not. Okay. Dob, check it. Shit. That misses. I missed. Fun. Anything else? Um, no, other than uh, a character sheet thing, real quick. I just realized, because I'm a warlock, I forgot about the whole spell slot limitation thing. Is it alright since I haven't used it to swap out uh, counter spell for uh, Vampiric Touch? My third level spell slot. Or my third level uh, known spell. Because I only have the two spell slots. So. I was like, yeah, wait a sure. minute. If I'm going to cast something at third level, it ain't going to be fucking counter spell. <laughs> if you say so, sure. If you want to change it that much, it's not a big deal. Alright, uh, Broke. Okay. That's it. Yeah, uh, let's go <clears> ahead <throat> and. Uh... I obviously see this guy running out. You saw him um, run out. He did successfully leave, and he froze in place. As, okay. as the shitty... <laughs> shitty. The uh, cityscape and Avernus had turned a bright, vivid red color outside the dome. And there, there are two fat boys in front of me. There are two <clears> fat <throat> boys Wait, in front of you. You didn't say that last time. I would have left they the did. dome if I knew it was red. They did. I did say that. I didn't okay, hear you well, say that. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to cast My a bad. blade ward on me, and I'm going to run out of the dome. Okay. Well, they are going to try to take a tax of opportunity. Go ahead. They also have disadvantage, and, uh, yeah, cool. And I'm resistant. Slashing and bludgeoning and piercing. That's very good. I did that wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah. one of them, I think, tagged you. Yep. So he bites you for six piercing, so I believe you take three of that. Three. And I need yep. you to make a charisma saving throw. Let's see. Let's see, how old am I? I think I'm like 48 years old, I'm pretty sure. I'm like an older dude. Then you might not want to fail this. <laughs> no, I, I gotta look back at my ages here in a second. My charisma is... Oh god, my charisma is shit. Big roll, how far is broke from I? Alright, you're fine. You're well, fine. As you leave um, the dome, the dome. Under how far is broke from me? Too far. 
Too far. Okay. You're, you're way out there, but I'm outside the dome. Yeah, you, you leave the dome. You freeze. Steve, it is your turn. I'm out. All right, you raise up and freeze. Royce, you are at the center of the dome. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna dash outside of the dome like everyone else. Okay, so you have a normal 40 foot movement speed, right? Yeah. All right, so let's see. There's these three guys, and then those five. So, you, so this would be a total. Can I, use a, can I use a bonus action, or I guess can I just take the disengage action and use my bonus action to dash? Absolutely. I'll do that. All right. Yeah, you just run out of the dome and freeze. <clears throat> these guys. Uh, there's only one of you left in the dome. I'm gonna begin waddling Me. towards Eris. Only one additional one's able to get a melee with you, though. They only have a 20 foot movement speed. And That's the three of them are going to try and bite you. Alrighty. They fail. Your turn. They, they suck. <laughs> yes, they I wanted do. to get older. I wanted to get older so bad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Disengage and leave the fucking dome. <laughs> All right. As you step out of the dome, you know, the colors kind of return to normal. And you can see these guys moving like blurs inside the dome, rearranging themselves as you have left it before beginning to stand still again, equally spaced inside this 60-foot radius around this pillar. All right. Um, I'll bonus action that disengage, and then I was basically right on the edge of the dome, so I should be able to get like 20 feet away from it, right? Sure. Uh, can I blast off some Eldritch Blasts at... Um... Our fluffy friends inside. Sure. I'll just target the um the one that I hit before with the um. No, no, not 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 the one that I hit. The one that uh what, unless broke killed those. The two that were bloody. There were two that were bloody. There are two that I are bloody. That damage. All right, I'll fire one at each of them. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Okay, so yeah, as your Eldritch Blasts cross the threshold of the dome, they turn from blasts to beams, like lasers, and flash into these guys. Go ahead and roll damage for both of them. Here's a question, are you guys just going to leave, or are you going to continue fighting these guys? I'm going to take a couple Next shots week. at them. Okay. okay. I'm now leaving. Leave. Alright, uh... Were those targeting the same guy or split? Split. The okay. two bloodied ones. Yep. All right. That uh, kills both of them. All right. That'll be it for my turn. Yep. Broke. Do you do anything? Um. You have left yeah, the door. Gonna... Uh, we can just go ahead and throw one of the... Is there any within 60 feet of me outside the dome? Outside the dome? No. So they're pretty far away from me. No, they're sixty feet. They're You're right there. The they're wrong like the oh, close. Right the closest one is ten feet away from you. I see. Oh, Inside cool. the dome. I see. And that is the only one. Is there anyone within fifteen feet? How many are in fifteen? None. Well, just the same one, I should say. Shit. <laughs> okay. As you kill them, they space themselves out equally, and so uh, I see. slightly farther That's apart. Um, let's go ahead and just. I guess I could burn it off. Let's do uh, three magic missiles on the one ten feet away. Sure, go ahead and roll damage as your darts cross a threshold and again turn laser-like in their appearance as these immediately blast into him. Oops, that's not the right number. That one's dead. Okay, yeah, he, he just explodes inside of there. And then uh, I have some movement. Uh, how far is Jodan away from me? Ten feet. Ten feet. I'm going to go to Jodan. All Wait, right. What's up, buddy? That's that it. End my turn. All right, Steve. You're uh, okay. Yep, I'm going to just <clears throat> rip uh, two Eldritch Blasts. At the same one or different ones? Two different ones, please. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, 
Uh huh. As they turn to beams, roll damage. Wow. All right, they are slightly injured. Okay, well then my um, spiritual weapon that's still in there, give him a poke. Your spiritual weapon has expired. Ah, darn. Okay, well then I'm just going to go with the rest of the party. I'm over it. Okay. Rice, do you do anything? Hello? Rice? Rice? Are you here? Are you here? Doesn't sound like it. Uh, Alright, he dodges. These guys rearrange themselves inside the dome, and then begin standing lab. stock still. There are 13 of them. Steve, at this point, you see the dome shift from red to blue as you're looking at it. Okay. Jodan. Alright. Well, I mean, Steve, did you communicate the, that it turned blue? I would have, yes. I would have. Okay. Then I suggest to the party, hey, let's just let's just go. Let's just head to the next uh chain. Uh what time is it right now? It looks to be uh It's middle late, of the night. Yeah, late evening. Yeah. You guys don't feel tired. Should we get a long rest in? We may as well. I don't think we can because we're not tired enough. Yeah, we're not tired So enough. when did we initially get here? Uh, from your perspective of subjective time, about like it's been maybe ten minutes. Okay, so it's, it's no. I was asking. Your, you started this fight at around one p.m. Okay, it is. So we have about seven hours it is before now we would worry about long resting. Yes. So we'd have about seven hours before we worried about long resting. Okay. Yes. Uh, I think we should just go on to the chain and um, do a short rest for Royce if he needs it, and heals up for anybody that needs it, and then uh, go for the yeah, next I chain. Take a short, I can take a short rest. Okay. Yeah, we'll good. do that. We'll do the same plan as we've been doing. Okay. Okay. You start. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use my uh, second wind under. Go ahead. Uh, are, are you using that now or when we do a short rest? Oh, I see. So we're running for rest. It's just a so bonus. Not, so oh, we it's have a free like, action for him to do that. We have like 35 hours left. Less. Correct. No. 34 hours. No, because we were at 44 when we started. We walked 30 minutes, and then the, he said 6 to six to 10 hours. So, you can tell it was 10 now that you're outside. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay, then like 33. Okay. Okay, as we move away from this uh, area, does anything seem to be uh, happening with the uh, sphere in Steve's eyes? No. Okay. okay. Cool. Let's go to the next one. All right. All right. You guys start walking to the next one. The sulfurous fog in this area gets thicker to the point where it's almost choking. You kind of get like a burning irritation in your throats. The temperature is rising. And you guys are stopping at 45 minutes to take a short rest? I think that's yeah. the uh, plan. Okay. So yeah, 45 minutes. You guys stop and begin taking a short rest. The air thick with the sulfur smell. Go ahead. Can I use the Divine Sense real fast before we start resting? Sure. And you don't detect anything. Okay, cool. A half hour into your long into your short rest, however. Due to environmental conditions, I need all of you to make constitution saving throws. Everyone gets a plus four. Indeed. Do I benefit from being a tiefling? What benefit would that be? Why would you get if a it benefit? Was it's not heat. You guys have been sitting okay. in a sulfurous fog for an, over an hour. Okay. That's, I was just double-checking, because it would be the same. It would be a con save for that as well. Ouch. Yep. 
no worries. I, I understand. I'm just clarifying. It's it's because of the sulfurous fog. The heat wa is not yet extreme enough to invoke that. Okie doke. <sighs> Royce, why did you roll a d10? Did I miss something? Oh, that was, that the, was, second his, one. Um, that was the second one. Dark. Yep. He Dark. hasn't rolled his save yet. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> roll your save. Bap, bap, bap. Tommy. Huh? Roll a constitution saving throw. <gasps> oh, no. Tommy's you get my plus four. Now. Don't need it. That's fair. All right, yeah, you guys are fine. And though it is irritating, the rest of your short rest passes without incident, and you successfully complete it. Yeah, okay, to the chain. Right. Let's go um, chomp some chains. Chomp, chomp on the chain, chain. Yeah, it's got stuck to another dimension. Go ahead. Sorry, right, didn't mean to. No, I was just rolling my uh, hit dice. Do I need to even roll a hit dice? Or can I just. I'm only at 101, I'm at 104. <laughs> it's up to you, uh, you don't have to. I haven't taken any damage. Alright, and uh, yeah, because of the thick fog, you guys don't even see this chain until you're only about 80 feet away from it. And you I'm in... Go ahead. I was going to say, I'm going to move up to within Divine Sense range. So 60 well, feet from when you see it, there is something that you see. So let me finish that. Because you see that, that the area is not unoccupied. There is a rather large, almost ogre-sized creature with uh, glistening, translucent, almost glass-like skin standing, staring at this uh, pillar. He's moving around a little bit, like shuffling, so you can tell that it is alive, it isn't a statue. Next to him is a diminutive creature in like a flat, almost like uh, light-absorbent black skin. And also seems to be uh, looking at this pillar. They are gesturing at it, though you do not hear any sounds emanating from them. Got picks? I do not. Yeah. Unfortunate. Um, well, with the infiltration option. Let's let's kill them? Question mark. Maybe. Party. Oh, maybe unless they're maybe they're, they're talking team. about the chain. I d past experience has told me no one that we've met at the chain has had any interest other than protecting it and then killing us. Yeah, but why are they staring at it? Because they're, they're protecting it, and they're obviously not very smart. Does someone have any, like, message or some type of cantrip that could... What? Yeah. Have... My familiar. I, I, I'll make the sacrifice. Uh, I'll go up and try to talk to them. All right. Well, how much AC do you have? I have a 20 AC. My familiar. I do too. Yeah, use the familiar. familiar. Yeah. My familiar is an imp. First. My familiar is an imp. Go for it. Use the familiar. Okay, what do you tell your familiar to do? Do whatever he sees fit to do to get their attention and see what they're up to. And okay. Good <laughs> There's a reason I worded it that way, and you know why. He picks up a rock and chucks it at him. <laughs> yeah. I fucking knew he would do something like that. Uh, oh, shit, that actually hit him. <laughs> he hit him with the rock. So he has to do the <laughs> improvised weapon damage. Alright, yeah. He hits, like, the, uh, the translucently skinned one in the back of the head. And he wheels around... Oh, he does not look happy. You should roll initiative. Uh, now we can kill him. <laughs> oh, weird. I we could have had like the upper hand, and now we don't. 
Yeah, but it's funny. <laughs> kind of funny. Just meh. <laughs> Our rolls are on. Oh man, we're gonna shit rolls the rest of the night too. Fuck. By the way, can someone remind me what the total exp- uh, XP is right now? Just uh, current total XP should be seven two two five nine. Okay, just making sure it. Alpha nine or Delta. I was in the military, so yeah, exactly. All right, so broke. Yeah, you see the pick up a rock, chuck it into the back of this guy's head. He wheels about. He does not look happy. What do you do? Steve, have you been operating this entire time at level nine? Yep. Oh God. Hold on. I'm I'm so ready to kick you from this goddamn party. <laughs> so bro, me too, what you honestly. Bro, um, how far are you guys away from me? He is sixty feet away from you. Okay. Um, Sorry, eighty feet. My bad. You guys had visual eighty feet. 80. Yeah. The imp moved forward a bit to Chuck. Okay. Is imp a fiend? By any chance? Yes. Okay. Um, oh no, I haven't. Sorry. I am going to uh, first just go ahead and set up a shadow blade on my person. Okay. And actually, I think that's all I'm doing. I'm just doing setup right now. Yeah, that's it. I just do setup. I don't think I, I don't have enough movement speed to actually get up there for eighty feet. I only have maybe. 25. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's it. So and you cast Shadow Blade and do nothing? And then, oh, I'm sorry. Then walk 25 feet up forward. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I had to do something. Yep, no worries. Steve. Um. So there's no sense in reasoning with him now. He's mad at little impy guy. Um. So how far am I? 8 0. 8 0. Uh, two Eldritch Blast at the sketchy looking little one. Oh, okay. Roll to hit. As a reaction, the big one intercepts these blasts and takes the damage instead. Roll damage. Oh. Hmm. I see. All right, they blast into him. Looks like you uh, left some scorch marks on him and hurt him. Anything else? Uh, well, spiritual weapon. Okay. Wait, let me. Uh, I'm 80 feet away. I may not be able to hit that. I no. believe it only has like a 30 foot range, right, or a 60. 60. Uh, so let's get in a range. Uh, let's get in a range and then hit spiritual weapon. Okay, how far are you going forward? Just to twenty to get to sixty? Uh, I'm gonna, f- I'm gonna do it, but I'm also gonna be in the air. I'm gonna fly up. How I'm gonna just, um, he's a big dude. His his reach is probably a good 15, 20 feet. Um, he's a, he is a large creature. He looks like he has maybe a ten foot reach. Ten foot reach. Uh, so I just want to go like thirty feet up in the air. Okay, and how far forward? Like what uh, range do you want him to be at? I just want to be within 60 feet of them. All right. Whilst... Yeah, you fly up and forward. He is 60 feet away. You are 30 feet in the air. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, spiritual weapon at level four, please. All right. Roll to hit. Ah, that's brutal. That is brutal. Good for him, though. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Royce? What'd it do? Um, how, far, how far am I away from Ogre Dude? 80 feet. Um, I will... 
bonus action dash get within melee of homie. Okay. And I will pull my uh, sword out, put it in attack mode, and attack this dude three times. All right. Roll to hit. Uh, you have disadvantage on these attacks. Ah, that's Sorry, depressing. You didn't finish. <laughs> that's very unfortunate. Yep. So just make that same roll again. We'll just yeah. use one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Good news is they all hit. Take it. That is. Uh, no crit. Oh, sorry, the 15 misses. My bad. He's a 16 AC. Uh, so two hits, no crit. Yeah, it, it seems like that uh, small little black fucker is pretty. Uh, is emanating like an aura of madness around him. And it is oh, well, throwing let you me... off. Do you want me to re roll that? I rolled that wrong. Yes, that is not. You rolled a 2 and then labeled it D6 plus 16. Sorry, we're just gonna roll over the small little black fucker. What the dude. fuck am I doing, dude? Yes, yeah, it's known as a Gru. I see. Okay, just that was funny. Kind Twenty-four of, damage. Uh, Gru. All right. Uh, sorry, you weren't attacking the Gru. You were attacking the big guy. I thought. The big guy. Yeah, yeah the guy with the transparent glass-like skin. Yeah. All right. And what type of damage is this? Ooh, the sword. I think it's just magical. You're piercing. Okay. And while you do some damage, it is not very effective. Okay. Okay. Um. Then that's uh, that's my turn. Okay. Arrows. Um, I'm just going to uh, fire some Eldritch Blasts and move around, like, back up a little bit. Okay, like, he, he's at the blast. edge of your vision with 80 feet away. If you back up much, yes. he will not be in sight. <clears throat> uh, misspoke the order. I fire Eldritch Blast, then back up out. I understand, I'm oh, letting you know. I... Yep, yep. Um, so I'm going to target the uh, little dude. Okay. Uh, the big guy's still intercepting it, so you'll end up hitting him instead. Okay. Do we have any fairy fire or anything advantage on this, or no? Nope, just flat attacks. Okay. Oh, 23. Very little magical force damage. Yes. Anything else besides backing up and losing sight of them? Yeah, so I'm going to back up like 15 feet. Okay. And that'll be it. Okay. These guys. So the uh, Gru is going to try and bite you, Royce. Well, Logan and And he misses. And then the Hulk is going to slam. He gets nine attacks. Nine? Sorry, he has two attacks plus plus nine. My bad. Oh <laughs> my he has nine two his attack. I was like Jeez. really concerned for a second yeah, there. I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> my heart stopped. <laughs> Don't let him hit you. <laughs> Does a 16 hit you, uh, Royce? Nah. All right, yeah, he misses. Jodan. All right. Well, how far am I from the little guy? 80 feet. Eight. They have not moved. All right. I'm going to action dash towards the little guy. Okay. So that's 60 feet of movement. Then you are 20 feet away from him. Yep. And, uh... Bonus action, compelled duel with the little guy. 
Is it a spell? Yeah. Oh, I already did an action. You're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. Is it, well, no, you used an action. You can use a bonus oh. action spell as long as the action wasn't a spell. That's fine. I was just yeah, double checking. Yeah, it's a bonus action spell. Okay. Uh, creature save or disadvantage on what save? Uh, attacks uh, wisdom. DC 16. Ooh. Right. Okay. So the little guy is uh, compelled to duel you. Yeah, so uh, disadvantage on tax versus anyone but me. Mm -hmm. And must make a save if moving more than 30 feet away from me. Okay. Anything yeah. else? That's it. Broke. Yeah, um, it really sucks how I have only 25. I am within, see, I was 80 feet and 25, so how far am I? I can't You're 55 feet. 55 feet, so I'm going to go up another 25 feet. Okay. Which is, okay. Boy. And, yep, and that means I'm still kind of away. Can I, uh, who is in, oh, no, it's touch for that. Royce is in melee with him, if I that see. was your question. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I couldn't cast, but it's a touch for protection of good eat and evil. This is a really long setup, holy shit. <laughs> So what do you do? Uh, then I will. Can I throw my sword since I have a uh, weapon bond and just see if I can chuck the sword at the big guy? Yeah, you can. Okay, perfect. Uh, what's throw is that going to be? Is that is an improvised there? ranged weapon. So go ahead and make a thrown weapon attack. Okay. Is that just a... F it is a d20. Yep. Plus um, your dexterity modifier. modifier. Oh, dexterity. Do you have the uh, Tavern Brawler feat that gives you proficiency with improvised weapons? I do not. Okay, then then you just get to add your Wait. dexterity mod. Go ahead. Are you using his, is he using his Shadow Blade that has a throne, throne, throne feature? Does it? 26. Oh, you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Then, you, you, then it is just a thrown attack with that sword. You use that sword's normal attack modifier. Oh, thank you. I didn't even see that. Sorry, when you said chuck yeah. your sword, I thought you meant a physical sword. Yeah, no, he's throwing the shadow blade at him. Yeah, show the right. shadow blade. That right. hits the big guy. Yep. Cool. And that means I can just go ahead and do flat damage. 1d8 plus 5. Boom. What type of damage does that do? Uh, that is, psychic. I think, psychic. Psychic. Okay. Your sword stabs into him. Mm -hmm. And Royce, you take 12 points of psychic damage. As the sword oh. has no apparent effect on him. Okay. And then... Uh, I can't bonus action recall my sword, can I? For weapon bond. Is that a bonus action or a full action? That is, that is a bonus. Then if you drop the weapon or th okay. throw it, just cool. at the end of your turn. Therefore, you can use a bonus yeah. action. Bonus it does action. it at the end of your turn. Oh, okay, perfect. So it automatically does it. Yep. Okay, cool. And then... Uh... Anything else? You've moved, you've used your action to bonus action, you ain't got much left. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I can't do anything else, I don't have an action. Okay, nope, you're good. All right, Steve. Um, my I'm good. Yeah, my mic's working. Ah, uh, I have a couple of options that I kind of want to do here. What do you do? Uh, would this, with like looking and seeing this, would I be able to tell if this is like a spell that's over this big guy, or it's the aura that the little guy's emitting? It looks like the little guy is emitting some type of aura. Naturally, it's not like a spell. Correct. These guys don't seem to be behaving... Like, they don't look devilish to you. They look more aberrant. Okay. Um. Alright, yeah. So then what I will do is very fire. Targeting both of them? I mean, it's a radius, so yes. That will also hit... Uh, oh, no, you could put it so it won't hit Royce. Yeah. All sure. right. 
Okay, that's a deck save. Uh, correct. So the little guy manages to avoid it, but the big guy begins to glow. What color is he glowing? Uh, he is glowing. Um, he just kind of looks like a cheeseburger. Wait, what? He's got some layers. There's a little lettuce layer. <laughs> There's a little, like, tomato layer. Sure, sure. He's going, like, you know, brown at the top and bottom. Got a gr- <laughs> little bit of green in the middle, a little bit of brown in the middle, like a darker brown, some red. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and else? then, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw that spiritual weapon back in there. Uh-huh. It's right there. It can make an attack. Targeting the big guy? Um, Can I, can I sneak it in behind the little guy and catch him by surprise without no. the big guy jumping in? No, there's no possible. Okay. He wouldn't be surprised by it. Well, I'm saying, he is there any... Po- so there's no possible way to hit the little guy. You're pretty sure that the way this guy's been acting is he's able to intercept any attacks on the little guy when the little guy's right there. All right. <clears throat> but you do crit the big guy. Yeah. Oh, so that is a uh, 48. Yeah. Oh, come on. The... Can I reroll that one? Uh, do you have a feature uh, you have a that feature? do that? No. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> You're a jackass, Steve. Anything else, Steve? Uh. Yeah. No, that's it. All right. Rice, you start your turn in the Gru's aura. What do you do? <sighs> How big is the aura? Uh, the way you were feeling it, uh, it's about twenty foot radius. I'm going to bonus action disengage, because I'm in melee. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to move 30 feet back. Okay. So I'm out of the aura. 10 feet away, he is going to take an attack of opportunity, because he is the sentinel feature. Mm-hmm. The bear! Oh. The, the I... Matter. I, you're the worst DM. <laughs> so he hits you for 30 points of bludgeoning damage and you are halted in your movement. Man broke your fucking kneecap. What a waste of a fucking bonus act. Could have been worse. You could have used your action. <laughs> um, but you still have your action. You're 10 feet away from him. Can I use my action to try to break out of whatever this is? The sentinel feature sets your speed to zero for the remainder for the remainder of the turn. Okay. Um. Then I'm gonna switch my sword to defense mode. Okay. And does fire that take off. an action or a bonus action to do, or is that something you just do once a turn? I'm. Pr- uh, you told me that I could just do it once. Okay. I haven't seen anything. I haven't read like an official snap block. I thought I sent that to you. Or I let me. Already. I could be wrong. It's fine. Yeah. We'll just continue on to avoid hanging up on it. Don't worry about it. You said it's a defense um, mode. Yeah, it just says once per turn. Okay. Um, then you're good. Uh, and then I'll just use my, my action to three sunbeam bolts at big guy. Okay. Uh, you are still at disadvantage from the aura. Uh, well, he wouldn't because he's fairy fired. Oh, true. So these are flat rolls. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. Wait, was he a disadvantage on the... No, it's attack of opportunity. Fuck. Those all hit. Dope. But he would get attack of a disadvantage on attack of opportunity. Why would he be... Why would uh, the big guy have disadvantage? Because he's fairy fired? That doesn't impose disadvantage on his attacks. Uh, That's fair. Just gives everyone else advantage to hit him. Ah, yeah, you're right. I'm silly. Oh, cool. All right, right. So the first beam. That that's hits. that's total damage. Oh, because you added that eight to there. Yeah, and that yeah, but I yeah, that's the that's the total. Okay, he is now bloodied. 
Cool. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Yeah, you can see like the spider web glass like cracking all over his skin. Airs. Um, go back in range and fire some more Aldridge Blast, and I guess I'll just target the big guy, because there's no point in targeting the little guy. Okay, you have advantage, he's very fired. Sweet. Pew pew. Two hits. Force damage. All right. Anything else? Just moving back out. Okay. Let's see. Do I think I could take the height action? Is the fog thick enough that I could use it as cover you or no? I think that it would give you cover, but as soon as you get in range of him, he, he would see you. Like, you don't have any, like, hard cover that would prevent you from him being immediately seen when you step forward. So if they tried to range attack me, I would be hidden, but if uh, they moved closer, they would be able to see me. It's more like I'm a bonus action. They, well they are in effectively heavily obscured, so you could hide because you're not cur they can't currently see you. But realistically, as soon as you get close enough to see you through the fog, you have no cover and you'd instantly be seen. So stealth is a little pointless here. Yeah, so if I, well, what you're basically you're saying is they're not going to try range attacking me when I'm in the fog. What I'm saying is that, yes, they are effectively blinded to you and you are blinded to them while they, while they are greater than 80 feet away. Okay, then I won't worry about it. Okay. That'll be it for me. Okay, so let's see. Oops, I meant to... I went up and grabbed that. I yeah, meant to grab the, the roll. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. The big guy and the little guy are going to step forward closer to you, Royce. This would also happen to bring them closer to Broke. Uh, let's see. The little guy is going to try to bite Royce. I believe he has a, he's at disadvantage because it's not uh, you, Broke. Does a 14 hit you, Royce? Heck. All right. And then the big... Uh, does the little guy get a save at the end of his turn against Compel Duel? Nope. Okay. Okay. Then the big guy is going to take a couple of swings at you, Royce. Does a 16 hit? No, a 20 does. 20 does. Okay. So he slams you for eight bludgeoning. And Jodan. Okay. Well, I see how it's going. Um, as far as big guy intercepts attacks on the little guy. Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna attack the little guy, but the interception would I do damage if it were to hit the big guy? Sorry. The, the big guy is big guy's re the big guy is redirecting attacks to hit him, okay. so your attacks against his armor class effectively. Okay, perfect. Um, and he's fairy fired. He is. So you have advantage on this. Okay. All right, two attacks. Take them. Yeah, that both hits, and that yeah, is I'm a uh, crit. Yeah, i level two to into each of them. Nope, base level. You didn't call it before you, you rolled. Uh, Divine Smite? Oh, sorry, I misunderstood. I thought you were firing stuff at ranged. No, 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 no. I, okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot I moved um, within, so that's what I forgot to say. I was moving inside the aura, because I was 20 feet out, so okay. I moved inside the aura. And then I was melee attacking. Okay. So that these should have been flat attacks then, because the aura imposes disadvantage, but it's fine. Your first rolls were the high ones anyways. So it Perfect. doesn't change anything. All right, yes, and then, uh, yeah, so don't, uh, yeah, just roll damage. And you can pump I'm going to roll, out. actually, I'm going to pump a level two into the regular hit and a level one into the crit. Sure. 
Um, no bonus dice. No bonus. These are not fiends. Okay. So we get three plus three, right? No, oh, no, three plus two, four, five, eight, eight, the eight. And then there's two hits, so it's plus 12. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't your weapon do base damage on its own? Yeah, that it's including, but it's a D8 as well, so that's why I include it in the in the D in that. Okay. So oh, yeah, six... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I see where I did. Yeah. Yep. My mental Maybe. math was off. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Three ones. That's brutal. Okay. Yeah, and uh, your weapon is not very effective against him, so mm. it doesn't. The first two but... are weapon. The rest yep. of them are radiant. That is true. And uh, but yeah, the radiant damage all hits him for full. Wondrous. Um, he I must be on the verge of death after that. Oh yeah. Um, that's it for me then. Okay, broke. Is it my turn yet? It is. What do you do? Oh, perfect. Uh, so, uh, Royce is still within melee with the. Uh, yes. Both uh, Jodan and Royce are in melee with these guys. Okay. Uh, can I walk up? I should have. I should be within five feet, and and kind of stand in front of Royce, like I'm protecting him with my shield up. And then I'm going to launch two attacks on Big Fucker. Sure. You can stand there. Uh, he has enough reach. It's not going to affect his attacks. Uh, but you can interpose yourself. And Ooh, make your attack um, rolls. You have uh, they are flat attack rolls from the Zoras and the Fairy Fire. Uh, and then plus nine. Oh, there's two rolls. I gotta roll another one too. Okay. Well, yeah. that first attack is a hit. And then this one's also. Do I add just the D twenty or do I add the plus nine to this one too as well? Uh, how many attacks are you making? Two. All right, well, the first attack hits, so just roll your second Sweet. attack. You, yes, you still get to the plus nine to your second attack. Sweet. Those that those both hit. hit. So go cool. ahead and awesome. roll damage. Great. That means I am rolling a 2d8 plus 10. Ugh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Your weapon just cuts into him. The, okay. His skin shatters into like this sparkling dust. Nice. As his body disintegrates into ash as it floats to the ground. Okay, and then I'm going to do a big boy play. And how far? Little fucker. Melee. Melee. Okay, action, action surge. Sorry, I can't say that. Two attacks on him. All right, roll to hit. Uh, you are at disadvantage. He is, in, he is the aura. Hey, uh, uh, there's no fuck fairy fire for you. Okay, can you remind me what role that disadvantage is again? 2d20 KL1. Got it. KL1. Plus 9. That will hit. Okay, is that one attack or is that That was one two? attack. Okay, so I actually have to do the second one too. Sure. It's 16, I think it is AC. A 13 hits. No fucking way. That's crazy. Yeah, this, this little guy is useful as hell because of the aura, but he's pretty weak. Okay, cool. Some scraggly little, you know, light absorbent gnome. Is, is Big Guy dead? Sorry. Yes, yeah, Big Guy disintegrated. Yeah! Oh, All right, this guy is near death from that's from those two hits oh really oh fuck yeah guys and then i'm uh just gonna look at him can i intimidate him can i just stare into his eyes like yes you can stare into his eyes to his eyes also jake you, you suck you have the intimidation feature or whatever from the sword 
That's for fiends. Okay, you suck less. <laughs> Anything else broke? Uh, no, that's all I can do. All right. Steve? There's, this guy's just, just fumbling around down there. about to, His jaw's about to literally be on the floor. Uh, so I'm just going to start beating the chain. Okay. Uh, you can easily fly over and hit the chain. Roll a hit. Oh my god, dude. The fucking... Uh, no. Alright, then uh, spiritual weapon, the uh, guy and poke, poke him in the back. Just, sure. I want it... Alright, before I roll this, because obviously he's pretty weak. I, I want it to be behind him, and then I want it to go through his skull, like, in between his eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of what I'm going for. Yeah. Oh! I don't that do hits. it! Oh. That hits. Roll damage. That's, uh... Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Your sword stabbed through the back of his head, through his eyes, stopping short of stabbing broke. And, yeah, as his body begins to, you know, fall, his body goes from even blacker as it sort of forms like a pool of blackness on the ground. And you begin to notice a wind being pulled into that. As your begins as this black pool, through it you can see what looks to be stars. And uh, let's say I need everyone twenty feet, so that would be Broke, Royce, and Jodan. To I need the three of you to make strength saving throws. Oh, you know, bring it on, bitch. Versus being sucked into a black hole. <laughs> oh shit! Bring it on. Although I can't say. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if I've been inside he... five bucks for a deck save you... instead? Wait, can I, do... <laughs> can I grab his ass? Get... Nope. So, Broken Joe, Daniel, you guys hold your ground as there's winds whipping around you. Royce loses his footing and careens into this hole. Royce, for a brief moment, you are floating there in this starry void. Before everything goes white and explodes outward, shoving you back through this hole. And now I need Royce. You automatically fail this as a result of failing the first check. Broken Jodan, I need you to make a deck save. Oh, I'm good at those! <laughs> I am Unfortunately, you have to pass the first save in order to have a chance at passing this. Being expelled from this hole, you are taking this directly in the face. But you know what? You, you have slow fall, right? Wait, I do. Fuck it. Yeah, you get a deck save then. Hell yeah. Jordan, does Jordan have his thing? Yes, I have my thing. You get plus four. Thank God. <laughs> do I get a plus four as well? Yes. Ah, yes, yes. You do. Because the explode, this check comes after you're thrown back through the hole. So you're oh, not separated so by the, dimension. Was the seven pass then originally? <laughs> no, seven would not pass. No. Nah. What happened? It didn't roll. Uh, the body it... tired and it's taking a moment to to breathe. Okay. I think Royce is good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Royce, yeah, as you come back through, the explosion of this force around you guys. Um, so, Royce, you're able to dodge. This was actually a save for all. And you avoid taking any of this damage. Fucking okay, okay, okay. You nimble motherfucker. Jodan I broke. Uh, bring it. You take 32 points of force damage each. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's acceptable. That's a, that's a, that's a. I can take it. Everyone <laughs> can see, though, that Royce, um... They can see your skull. 
Oh. Yeah, bro. Like my whole school? Yes. Like your head is just, is your, just skull your skull sitting on top, sitting of, your on top of your neck. Uh, but I'm alive. Ro Royce, are you, are you okay? Are you good, buddy? Or yeah, it's kind of chilly, but other than that, I feel fine. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Um, don't freak out, but your skin is gone on your face. You, you are. <laughs> yes, you, you basically you are, are pulling Skeletor. a Skeletor. You are Skeletor now. <laughs> is it just my head that doesn't have anything on it? Yes. Or yeah. my whole skeleton? My head. No. Your head. Just your head. skeleton with tits. Your, your, your Skeletor with tits. Well, with better tits. Can I drink a potion of healing and see what happens under? Sure. Please tell me it just falls through the jaw's face. You guys, no, it does not fall through. You guys can see him drinking it, and it just, like, disappears into his neck. It just goes into his fucking tits. Um, are we out of initiative? Uh, effectively, you guys are out of initiative at this point. Yeah. Other than so, destroying... Royce, you do... I just wanted to rejoin the party from yeah. how far away I was. You do heal the seven points of damage. <laughs> But your skull um, is unaltered. There's got to so, be something Royce, you guys can do. Touch, touch um, your face. Can you I'm feel your skin touching when you touch your face? Touch, touch your face. face. Jonas, I'm talking. Touch your face. If you can yeah. feel, because you can feel your own skin. Yeah, I'm touching so my face. It feels hard and bony. <laughs> there is no skin. Okay. <laughs> you also don't seem to okay. have a nose anymore. Ah, I had a cute little oh, button. Lucky too. you. Uh, Royce, how much HP do you have? Are you full? No, I mean, I'm fine. You know, Royce, okay. without a nose, um, this environment is significantly less annoying. Because you don't smell the sulfur in the air. Silver lining, baby. Is that, uh, hole still open? No, it closed <laughs> when it exploded. Yeah. Everybody Anybody jump inside these like, skulls. Anybody got greater restoration or anything like that? I do have greater restoration. I can do lay hands on your face. And you give you you'd 16, like you? 16 lay hands on your face. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to assume my skull is still there under. Yes. You recover the hit points, your skull is unaltered. I will give you a... How about Steve as a thank you if you end up casting... Uh, uh, greater restoration. I'll give you a potion of fire breath as a thank you. I, 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 I don't need it. It's a community bag. You don't own those. Yeah. <laughs> My bag. <laughs> I don't oh, need the bag with him when he got sucked through the portal. No, not the bag of holding, thought, just my regular bag. No, I thought there. Smug had the bag of holding. The only guy that's not does here. have a bag of holding. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. I just <laughs> have a bag. That's scary. So did, are you are you no. casting Greater Restoration, Steve? Would you like me to? I would love you. I don't think it'll do anything. Well, you're not involved. In we are going to take a long rest, correct? That's up to you. Yeah, we yeah, can. Long rest after we have... getting close to it. Okay, so we have enough time. All right, yeah. yeah we great... have time to greater restoration then. Okay, you have the diamonds? I do. I remember. Okay. I bought a bunch of them and crushed them up and yep. already have them. I have like a... Uh, sure. I don't remember. I have like eight shots. Okay. Yeah, you cast greater restoration on him. His skin... And eyes and nose all reform. Oh my god! Restored. Oh. I don't know if I can handle Wait, aging. Is he still? Is he still a lady? If I greater restoration him, I already wasn't a lady. Greater restoration only restores one issue anyway. Ah, I and see. You were focusing on the skull. Yep. I got my penis back anyway. When? When? When we before we left the room, I went back again. That is true. He did. Yeah, I've, I've I've had a dick for a while. Oh, well, that's no did fun. Get, wait, did you keep the tits though? No, he I, did not. I, it I wasn't stuff. that. Lady boy, he stuffs. Yeah. I stuff, but they're not real. I see. 
Uh, yeah, we. I'm, I'm quite taking a long rest if you guys want to. Uh, we still have a chain that's still full health to deal with. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's do that then. Let's start smacking chains. Ready? Okay. In the interest of saving time, you guys are able to eventually destroy the chain. Nothing shows up during the alarm. Cool. Okay, okay. Cool. Let's, um... Let's look for a hiding spot to take a long rest then. Yeah. So right. I will scamper... Uh, th th I'm assuming this wall that we were talking about uh, last session that around the city is pretty continuous around? Pretty continuous, yes. A little rougher in this section. This uh, part of the town is hit a little harder. So we only but have I one can more still chain climb left. up it and use it for scouting. Uh, you think so. Okay, then I'll climb up there and then we'll start. I'll just walk along the wall. Okay, what's your uh, passive perception? My passive? Yeah. Um, 11. Not... Wait, Not great. that's Peaches. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's Peaches. Mine is 19. Okay. Yeah, so this section of town's burning. And you can see leaks of what look to be fire or lava in the city. That's probably what the smell's coming from. Hmm. Let me see. All right. Hey, Under. Yeah. May I please start casting... Oh, wait, I can't. Can I start preparing uh, Hallow? What do you Hello or Halo? Well, it, it takes 24 hours. It takes 24 hours yep. to cast. Do you already have it prepared? Like, is it one of the spells you picked at the beginning of this day? Oh, fucking Royce. <sighs> what did I do? I used Greater Restoration on you, and now, wait, Greater Restoration is a 5th level spell. Fuck! You fuck It me. would still take you 24 hours to cast it. Yeah, I ain't waiting around for you. Yeah, we, I don't think we have twenty-four hours. Well, we would take. Tw yeah, we do. No, we have like you, okay, twenty-eight you understand hours. Understand. You would you... have to forego your long rest and start taking levels of exhaustion. Oh. And then we would have to sit around for another sixteen hours for you to cast that. It's it's anyway, not something you do in the middle of this. What we're doing right now. So I would recommend you changing your prepared spell when we wake up. Okay. Anyway, that is a, it's a spell that's not useful in this particular scenario. So if you're actually looking the for some place in like relative cover to sh yep. shack up for a night, uh, I need a survival check then. From all of us? From one person. Can't. You can. You guys can decide amongst yourself who you want to try to have uh, find. But I need. Survival. I need one survival check. I can't. I. Survival. I have a I have plus a, three. I have a plus three as well. I, have plus four. I don't. Oh, you do? Plus four? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that... I'll go up and help him. Or he yeah, well, that and, 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 and Joe Dance got his aura and guidance. Wrong. I The aura only works for saves. Okay. Yeah. Guidance Save. will work. Guidance. You can use guidance. Someone give me the, give me the What word about word. a help act? 1d4. Yeah, Eris can give help. He already said that. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Someone right type out what I'm rolling in. Cause... Yeah, it's less being able to see it, Eris. It's more being able to tell which one would actually be like the best spot to save, and that's where the survival check part comes in. Okay. Yeah. Yes, on the wall, that was a good idea. That basically makes it where the perception is uh, effectively. You don't have to worry about that. It's purely just you're evaluating your options as a party. Great. Yeah, and so, yeah. I have a plus okay. nine to perception. Uh, I can see two d twenty kh one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Because uh, uh, advantage. Yep. And I mistyped that. Sorry. Okay. What? 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 <laughs> okay, we'll try again in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, an hour passes. You as you un as you fail to find a safe spot. You could go here, but you're kind of exposed. Do it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. After an hour, you can we'll, try again. We'll, yeah, we'll try again. That's what. That's why I made the joke. Under knew what I was saying. <laughs> but it's not five minutes. It's an hour. You lose. Doing yeah, that was that was the joke. I knew you'd add an actual. Oh my god! No we're... more. You're not rolling Please, anymore. Someone else take this. I'm not. Another doing hour passes. All right, I got it. Oh, All right. Wait. Aren't you the one that casts guidance though? I suppose he, you can, he can cast yeah, guidance and then make the check. That's not a problem. It only comes up really in initiative because then we're actually counting the number of actions and stuff. All right. Yep. And I'll still help you. 
Like, I can pick out the buildings that are intact, I just can't tell whether they'd be good to sleep in or not. I have a survival plus one, so... I think that's decent enough. Yeah. So 17, yeah, as you're, as you're walking around this, you, you don't spot a building so much, Eris, as you realize that one of the gatehouses on the wall is more or less intact and would be highly defensible to rest in. Ooh, lovely. All right. Good thing we kept walking. Yeah. yeah so you guys right. make your way Fun into this gatehouse. And you also realize that because of like just the thin slits for arrows and the heavy wooden doors that are still intact, though unlocked, um, the sulfurous fog here is not nearly as annoying or as bad. Sweet. We should be good for a long rest worth of uh, not having to do checks. Yep. Yes, you, you don't think that the fog will poison you in your sleep in here. All right, so you guys go into this gatehouse and uh, begin setting up for a long rest, and that is where we will call it for the evening. We will handle the long rest itself next time. Oops. Just so we remember. Yep, let me figure out your XP as you guys are heading to the final chain. So we're not going to go back to the blue bubble, so I want to ask... If we would have stacked up and got all of our attacks that we could in a single red round, could we have farmed XP a little bit? Or Well, I mean, uh, there was a fixed number of guys, and I recounted yeah. you having defeated them in terms of XP once you broke the chain and got out of there. You didn't, like, killing them, like, they really, they, they were more of an annoyance in terms of the damage and armor that they had. It was mostly their mm -hmm. effect was maintaining that bubble. You see... So the chain is where 